My cousin and I narrowly avoided a terrible accident five years ago when a large, unknown animal ran across the road, nearly causing us to wipe out. I was riding on the back of my cousin's motorcycle with him down the highway. It was nighttime, and there wasn't much traffic on the road. We reached a part of the highway where it goes up a hill and then starts to descend slowly. You can't see over this hill since it's quite long. Once we got to the top and started our descent, this huge gray animal bolted out of the woods to our right and sprinted so fast across the road that my cousin barely had time to react. He started to turn the motorcycle, but this thing was already gone. If this animal had come out just a second later, we would have collided. It happened so very fast, but I caught a glimpse of it as the headlight hit this creature. It looked like a giant gray wolf from what I saw, except its back was haunched oddly. I could only really make out the head somewhat because it flew by us so fast. My cousin and I don't really talk about it because we kind of just brushed it off and continued on with our trip. I remember though, that night my cousin was psyched about what we saw, telling me he didn't think dogs got that big out in the wild. This isn't my encounter, but my brother's. Before I tell you more, let me just say that my brother is a total tough guy. He's trained in MMA, served in the military for years, including two tours in Iraq, etc. When someone like him tells me a story and expresses how scared he was, it really rattles me. My brother didn't even know these kinds of things existed until I told him about it. And he told me he actually had an encounter with one of these creatures. This happened around 2010 or 2011. He had gone to visit a couple of his army buddies in Kentucky, somewhere rural, I assume. They got together, drank a bunch of good beer, had a cookout, and then decided to end the evening riding their ATVs around his friend's property. He was riding along with three other buddies, and had reached the end of the property line by a large creek that runs through his friend's land. He said he began to hear weird crunching noises in the leaves and started feeling like he was being watched. His buddies quickly pulled up, and they all got the same sensation. Since they are all military guys, they were already prepared for anything to go down, and it felt like someone was sneaking around. My brother explained to me that not even 20 feet away, from behind a tree, outstepped what he can only describe as a werewolf in the flesh. He said it looked like it straight up stepped off the movie screen and was now standing in front of them, staring intently at my brother, who happened to be the closest to this thing. My brother's gut instantly knotted up. From what he tells me, it felt like an eternity in this locked stare-down between him and this creature when his friends screamed at him to go, and they hauled ass away on their ATVs, praying this thing didn't follow or chase them. He said he never looked back once to see if this animal had been following them since his friend's property was rather large. It took them a little bit to get back to his house, where my brother was so panicked it took a while for his friends to calm him down. All four of them saw it, but my brother feels like it affected him differently. He said this thing did something to him, marked him as he calls it. It never once took its eyes off him to look at his other three buddies. He said it's hard to describe exactly what this thing looked like, just that it looked like a real-life werewolf. He described it having huge pointed teeth, about his height, with brown blackish thick fur, standing up on two legs and tapered at the waist. He got really shaken up about it when he told me, and just hearing his story gives me massive chills. This happened almost two years ago when I was 16, and at the time I didn't think much of it. However, today it gave me the chills. I lived with my dad, 25 minutes outside of town, up on a higher mountain road surrounded by lots of woods and a few scattered neighbors. One night, I went to sleep as usual, only to wake up in a terrified state. My skin was covered in sweat, clammy, and I felt more on edge than ever before. I turned my head to look out the window since I sleep next to one, and saw an all-black but very well-defined, upright figure of a dog walking towards my front door. I had this crushing feeling that it was going to attack me. The thing was pitch black and just a giant shape. I remember jumping out of bed, running to my room door, which was open, and making sure the front door was locked. I quickly scrambled to secure all my curtains and windows tightly. I waited quietly but didn't hear anything. It was the first time anything like that had happened to me and I had never experienced anything similar before that event. Another experience I had is a two-parter. One night, I saw red eyes staring back at me through my front window. These eyes were widely spaced apart, high up in the air, heck, I'd say seven feet or more, and tucked away in the blackness beyond the light of my porch. I screamed and ran to close my curtains, hiding in my room for the rest of the night. A few nights later, I had another sensation that woke me up, 
as if there was an evil presence outside my bedroom window. At this point, the curtains were closed entirely, and the window was securely locked. I felt a paralyzing sense of dread and fear. After what felt like an eternity, I began to hear scratching against the window. It sounded like a dog trying to claw at the glass, repeatedly pawing it. I honestly thought I was having vivid hallucinations until I realized what I was experiencing was real. At some point, my room lit up because something huge was standing at my window, blocking out all the moonlight. I hadn't realized how dark my room had gotten, and once this figure moved away from my window, the moonlight shone through again. These types of experiences never happened to me again, and I'm really curious as to why they occurred around the same time. Of course, I don't believe in monsters or anything like that, but whether it was a demon or something unexplained like an animal, I'll never be quite sure. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of these encounters. Summertime 2006. I went camping in Arkansas, west of Eureka. I believe this was right off Beaver Lake, as that's the only known lake in that area to my knowledge. During that time, I was doing a lot of traveling on foot, hiking around the mountains. I hiked the entire summer by foot and would just camp out in the middle of the woods. I traveled a lot along Arkansas, into the Ozarks, and down south. This event happened sometime during that journey, and I've only ever had an experience like this once. I had been hiking all day long, and it was rather hot since I believe this happened in July. I decided to set up camp maybe a mile away from the bank of the lake. After setting up my tent, I did my usual routine of exploring a little bit until nightfall arrived. I had an electronic lantern that I used to go and get water for my canteen. I would bring this canteen back and boil the water. As I approached the bank of the lake, I heard rustling off to my right. I turned to look and saw this bizarre animal staring at me. I noticed its striking yellow eyes staring right at me. In the darkness, my eyes adjusted, and I began to make out the head, realizing it was a large dog. I started to panic because I thought it was a wolf, but noticed the body wasn't right. It was on all fours, but its lower back was hunched down. It's hard for me to explain, but it kind of had a hyena-looking body if that makes sense, where the front arms are much longer and the back legs are shorter. I believe I must have startled this thing when I stepped out of the woods to walk up to the bank of the lake to get water. I was frozen in place, staring at this thing. I began to notice, after just a few moments, that it frantically kept looking behind it and then back at me. This went on for probably another 5 to 10 seconds. At that moment, I was confused and not quite sure what was happening. But then it dawned on me that this creature wasn't alone. Briskly, I turned around and quickly paced back to my tent. I was very concerned because I had never seen an animal like that and had no idea what I was dealing with. I ended up skipping dinner that night and just crashing out early, keeping my machete near me all night long. The following morning, I packed up and moved on, and never experienced anything strange like that again in my time since then. This includes anything like Bigfoot, or anything else that might be unexplained. I didn't really see any details because it was dark outside, other than its eyes, which seemed to have a faint glow to them. The body. I was only able to see somewhat of a silhouette, and could tell it was a dark shape sitting there. Even though I had my lantern, its light couldn't extend far enough for me to see the details of this animal. I have no idea what kind of predator I was dealing with. For all I know, it could have been an undiscovered species of wolf or something. I should probably reiterate and say that this wolf, or so I will call it, was huge, easily double the size of a Great Dane. It was so unnatural and pairing that with the glowing yellow eyes really just made me uneasy. I'd like to start off by saying that I don't mess around. I'm an avid explorer and also an avid gun lover. I collect many different kinds of pistols, rifles, you name it. Among my collection, I have a small handful of weapons that I keep on me, especially when I go exploring into the wilderness, just to stay safe. You never know when a bear might cross your path, especially if she has cubs around. That's a dangerous situation. Now let me tell you about my expeditions. I really enjoy hiking and camping, but I also love going out on long expeditions where I walk for 8 to 12 miles or more in various areas. I spend a lot of time in the Pacific Northwest, traversing through Washington and Oregon, as well as in the Midwest around Ohio and down into Kentucky. I love sightseeing, and I usually travel with a friend or two for company. During one such expedition, we were traversing through the Chattahoochee National Forest. Since I keep my magnum on me, 
I felt pretty confident that I could handle most treacherous situations. We came across a small creek, where the woods around us suddenly fell silent. My friend and I both knew what that meant. It stayed silent for quite some time, and we weren't sure whether it was safer to stay put or to keep moving. Not even five minutes after we decided to move on, we heard multiple sounds all around us, shuffling, rustling of the ground and leaves, deep breaths and huffs. These noises were coming from beyond our visibility. The brush was so thick that we couldn't see exactly what was making them. Due to the surrounding sounds, we knew there was more than one of whatever animal it was. It was getting dusky out, but there was still enough light to see. I pulled out my magnum and fired it three times into the air. Instantly, the woods went from quiet to a frenzy. We began hearing all sorts of crazy howls, growls, scratching, and other bizarre noises. It sounded like a hundred coyotes having a WWE match all around us, just beyond our vision. It was so loud and threatening that I fired several more shots randomly into the woods. After that, things got silent again. I have no idea if I hit anything or anyone, which is something nobody should ever do because you never know if there are people or other humans nearby. I know it might not sound believable, but I was acting purely out of fear in that moment. I knew there weren't people around us, and I felt that there was something more sinister going on. My friend and I waited for a moment, and when things stayed silent, we took off as fast as we could. We still had about seven miles or so to go back to where we originally parked and entered, so it was a long trek back. That's the only time I've ever felt threatened like that in the woods. I've had to ward off a bear before, but it was never anything close to the level of fear I felt in that moment. I've read many Sasquatch encounters and heard similar things happen, so I don't know if that's what I encountered, but I never thought Sasquatches were real, and I didn't think they growled, howled, and made all those weird noises like what I heard. I'm not really sure what surrounded us, but there were multiple of them. We could hear it. Whatever it was had to have been big because of the deep huffs of breath. I never would have guessed in a million years that something like that would happen deep in the wilderness of Georgia.